My name is Madina. I'm part of the Somali architecture team. I'm half Somali, half Italian, actually. So I was really, you know, I lived through stories uh, about how Somalia interesting was from my parents. And I was really interested in getting to know better the Somalia I couldn't really visit. So I thought architecture was a really good way to, you know, get to know what my parents live, uh, these kind of things. And our exhibition is traces the history of Somali, his, the history of Somali, sorry, through the lens of architecture. And we want to show with the London Design Biennale the potential of the architectural heritage that is left in Somalia and that can actually have a very important role for the future the development. We really think it's important in the future design, you know, to deal with how the city looked like in order to have uh, a better understanding of all the complexities of the cities, of all the heritage left, the identity in the, in the future design. So the Somali exhibit traces the history of Somalia through the lens of architecture. We've been documenting the, the architectural heritage from the early stages of the first centuries, ADs, until today's. And we want to highlight the importance of some architectural science left in Somalia and how also they could have an important role for the future design. So our team, it's, uh, it's, it's made by four people. Uh, I live in Italy, two other team members are based in the UK and another team member is based uh, in the, the US. We, we gather through, so, through social media and uh, we all have kind of different backgrounds. Uh, two of us are architects, there's another guy who's the architecture technologist and a historian girl too. So we try to create, uh, you know, different backgrounds together in order to have a real research about different topics in order to have a really a better understanding of uh, the architectural heritage left in Somalia through different kind of points of view. Two organizations that really helped us uh, during the development process of the exhibitions are Premier Bank, uh, Devon Construction and uh, the Municipality of Mogadishu. We're really hoping to show a different side of uh, architecture in Somalia. We don't want just to show in the ruins, which are actually there, but we want to show the importance and the stories that those ruins could carry and how they can actually develop in the future, develop, uh, in the future design. And uh, that's somehow trying to show yeah, a new image of uh, a country that it tends to be forgotten most of the times. We want to remember that uh, it's very important to know its own history and how, you know, start from there and move forward for the future. Because eventually not everything from the past is perfect, but still history is what can teach us to move forward in a more conscious way. It's very important because Finally, we, you know, you get to see some aspects of architecture that can to be forgotten. We are so used to see Arkansas buildings, those magical, high technology buildings. But, you know, architecture is just not that. That's just a small part of architecture. So it's very interesting to see how design can change people's life in small scale projects. That, that's what really matters. At the end, who is going to enjoy architecture? is really not very rich people that can really pay for amazing architecture or high standard technology. So it's good to see how with a low budget you can really implement someone's life. A very important thing is the fact that we are trying to recreate a database that is missing now of the architecture left. Uh, at this moment we are focusing on Mogadishu, eventually we're gonna expand to other cities. But there isn't any place in Mogadishu where you can find, you know, plants, elevations of buildings. So if there's no all that material, how can you really, you know, deal with this kind of buildings in the future design? So we are trying to create this database that would be helpful for whoever is going to approach to the new designing of the city. 
and that's quite challenging because we need to refer to images. A lot of buildings have been destroyed, so it's not very easy to do this work. And also it's not very easy because we live all in different spots in the world. But at the same time, it's good of the, the good part of being far away is the fact that each of us can access to different archive sources, different libraries, different material that you, know, you couldn't really find if you were just all living in the same place. So it's very interesting, this exchange part of the research that we are carrying on.